Welcome to Everything Currency. I'm your host Jay and today got a new video for you guys. I just want to do a little update on Flexa. FXC man. As y'all know this is my favorite low cap gym right now. Uh, the Constellation one is pretty cool. Vest is pretty dope. Um, there's a lot of coins out there that's really doing their thing. But FXC man they just keep on I mean, one, one criticism that I get about FXC is people say, well, it's not settled in crypto. Well, businesses don't want to settle in crypto. People are not using crypto yet. We got to get people to use it. But let me get away from these cars because it's kind of loud over here. But one of the main things that people don't realize is right now, you can basically only... Uh, use crypt uh use flexa app spending app at a couple stores but that's just one thing that they got let me see if i can get a better angle all right once we turn this corner i'll get a better angle but the fxc protocol is actually like pretty dope because what the end goal is is to incorporate um this protocol as a plug-in into other wallets so you know, if you have an Exodus wallet, first of all, get rid of it. Go look at everybody get hacked. It's always Exodus. Get rid of it. Um, but if you have another wallet and it's connected with FXC, you can, you know, potentially like a Monarch wallet, you would be able to go into the store, use the crypto right there off your Monarch wallet. So that's pretty big, man. Like that's what they're working on over at FXC backed by Gemini and the Winklevoss twins so right now the price of the coin is like 0 0.002 like two tenths of a penny or something like that um, so yeah that's a and the big news for FXC today is that they're gonna be in the malls they're gonna be in I think it was like a hundred malls across the US um, in a store that's gonna be used to promote. Like they're gonna be training people on how to use crypto, training people on what crypto is. And now we're seeing that as the ICOs kind of die off and the crypto currencies kind of die off, what you're seeing is like the dApp space is coming up and people are really focusing on the dApps. And this is the different ways that you can utilize crypto whether it's entertainment, gambling, or social media, or data storage. Um, you know, as you know, there's so many ways that you can use blockchain. But as far as we're concerned, hey, chill out, keep accumulating. Um, don't take huge losses. Like, I mean, what could we do? Bitcoin dropped 20% in one day. How, you know, what can you do? You put a stop loss, hope it doesn't hit it. Um, you know what I mean? I have two portfolios, basically. One I trade, one I hold. So, one had a stop loss and one I don't care about. So, that's just how we're going to do things. Also, Tether. Tether doesn't have to show New York documents. That's It's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It just means that New York doesn't have jurisdiction over Tether to try to see their info, try to get all up in their business. Tether's like, nah, man, you don't. We don't know you like that. We don't have to give you these papers. So that, it's just prolonging what's going to happen with Tether already. We already know that they lost hella money. You know what I mean? Whether it's on hold or whatever they call it, they lost a lot of money and then they did an ICO to get that money back. That's pretty sure that's not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to use ICO funds to pay for money that you lost. So the whole Tether and, and Bitfinex thing, just a matter of time you know brace yourselves for that i'm thinking like hopefully it comes in the near future like let's get it over with this year let's get these dips over with this year you know like if tone vase is right which i don't even really like talking about that guy but if he's right and we go on to 1500 that's going to be the reason why uh, there's a couple reasons why it can drop like that but um yeah we're not worried about that man we're just accumulating these projects that for sure have good working use cases and Bitcoin. Um, I got the dollar a day challenge. Like, you know, any any almost gains I had or whatever is gone because that dropped, took everything. 
uh, but yeah, we're still doing that. It's, we'll see how that goes by the end of um, by the end of the having. I'm probably just gonna end up letting those accumulate. Might give some away. We'll see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you have a low cap coin that you want me to look into and talk about, or you just want to tell me about, show your bags. Show them. Let me know what's popping. Let me know what's out there. Any competitors to FXC, like Pundi X, people will tell me look into Pundi X. The thing I don't like about Pundi X is that people have to buy extra equipment, and if you go into some of these stores, they don't have room for extra equipment on the shelf. Even the grocery stores don't have room for an extra POS system, no matter how small it is. Like, people don't even use Square because they don't have room for it. So if I could use what's already there and my phone, that's what FXC does. And it's probably going to give, you know what I mean, people the ability to get into crypto a lot more easier. You know, like, if, if Safeway starts accepting the Flexa app and all you want to do is buy crypto and Safeway starts selling crypto, then you don't need a lot of these on-ramps and everything that we've been using. But we'll see how that goes. You know what I'm saying? Fees are super high. You know what I mean? I want to pay an extra seven bucks on my twenty dollar ticket at at uh, at Safeway for the for the transaction fees of Bitcoin. Especially knowing that hey, if the having works out right, and maybe even the next having, like the price is gonna go up. Why would I spend twenty dollars right now and pay an extra seven dollars and then let the price go up? So spending crypto right now it's a little bit difficult wait let me rephrase that spending bitcoin spending bitcoin is a little bit different that's why i don't think bitcoin is going to be like the major payment process in crypto because everybody wants to hold it man nobody wants to be the the two pizza guy you think about it you buy some socks and then those socks end up being worth you know fifty thousand dollars later you're not gonna like that so nobody wants to be the two pizza guy so right now Stable coins is kind of where it's at. With that being said, we need things like Flexa to make it so that spending crypto actually makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications.